Hi, this is Anthony Housefather, Member of Parliament for Mount Royal, and I'd like to wish all of Canada's Bangladeshi community, in particular those who live in my riding of Mount Royal on the island of Montreal, an Eid Mubarak. It really is a pleasure um, for me to convey my sentiments on this holiday. I know that it's difficult because everybody is not able to break the fast together every day. You're not able to gather, you're not able to share food in the same way. It's a bit frustrating. But with vaccinations, um, and I hope each and every one of you will get vaccinated as quickly as possible, we know that hopefully next year, everything will be back to normal. So Eid Mubarak and have a wonderful festive holiday with your families. Greetings to the members and friends of the Bangladesh Sociocultural Forum. I wish everyone a very, very happy Eid al Fitr as you conclude the holy month of Ramadan. It's been a difficult time to celebrate Ramadan during a pandemic. And so I wish everyone good health and the best in the year ahead. Together we will overcome this pandemic. It's been my great pleasure over the past month to work closely with the Bangladesh Sociocultural Forum to be one of the organizers and one of the main guests at the global event in March that celebrated 50 years of Bangladesh's independence. Together, we noted the sacrifices of 1971 and the fight to win independence. And we also praised the accomplishments of Bangladesh over the years, the growth of the country, the growth of the economy and the efforts of Bangladesh to become an honest broker in the South Asian area. We praised Bangladesh for its efforts to open its doors to refugees fleeing from Myanmar. And Bangladeshi Canadians right across Canada joined us that day to express their pride, not only in being Bangladeshis, but being Canadians as well. A few weeks ago, it was my pleasure to work with you to wish you all the best for the Bengali New Year. Today, I wish you the best for Eid El Bitter, and I look forward to working with you in the months ahead.